Hello and welcome to this video tutorial, Introduction to the Visual Features of the Dispatch Map. The Dispatch Map, accessed via F5, is the visual display of your territory and the jobs you have scheduled for each day. This video will discuss navigating the Dispatch Map. First, as a general overview, the map is designed to be faded so the text routes are the focus with the streets and city names in the background. County and state lines are displayed in green. The heavier lines are state lines. The darker, wider lines represent the main arterials in your territory. These will usually be interstates. The next smaller lines will represent highways or equivalent limited access roads. The thinnest lines will represent roads that are more local in nature, such as a main thoroughfare in your city. Wide purple lines represent toll roads. If there are significant bodies of water or mountain ranges in your area, these may have been included on your map. These would be blue or brown lines respectively. Keep in mind each map is custom drawn for your specific territory. The light green circular rings called range lines extend from your headquarters location and give approximate as the crow flies mileage markers. Your arrow keys will move you around the map as will holding your mouse to the side of the screen and using your scroll wheel. Holding down your spacebar will give you an overview of the entire map. The home key on your keyboard will take you to the designated headquarters location on your map. The end key on your keyboard will take you to the technician listings. Tapping either home or end will return you to your previous position. As you use your arrow keys to move around the map, you'll find the map moves through what we call panning positions. The inset map allows you to see which panning position of the map you are viewing in relation to the rest of the map. This is particularly useful for getting your bearings on large territories. The inset map may be moved by clicking and dragging it around the screen. You may also right click on a position in the inset map to be taken immediately to that panning position. In the settings form, Control F1, you may set the grid coordinates for the technician's homes. When you do, they will display as little houses on the map. The rectangular flags on the map represent the appointments. You may float your mouse over them for more information regarding the job. Holding down Control and right clicking will open up the underlying job record. When reviewing your list of technicians, you may find that you wish they were displayed in a different order. This is done via the settings form Control F1. But to make this change, you need to know what list position box you want the technician's information to be displayed in. Select the letter L on your keyboard to reveal the list position number. Making this change will be discussed further in another video. While reviewing routes for the day, you may wish to only review a single technician's route. To do so, right click on the technician's name. A particularly useful feature of the dispatch map is the J key. Selecting J on your keyboard will display all the jobs that are in working to schedule status. These will display on your map as little orange circles. In addition, those jobs displaying in a green circle are appointments that are already scheduled but may be moved sooner if there is open availability. Right clicking on any of the circles will open the underlying job record. Another particularly useful feature of the dispatch map is the W key. Selecting W on your keyboard will cause any appointments that show parts as pending to show in a teal color in the tech list. In other words, if the return visit has been scheduled but the parts have not yet been checked in, the job will display in a teal color. You can then determine if the parts are in the office and have simply not yet been received into service desk, or if the parts are not in hand and the job must be rescheduled. You may not know what all the symbols next to the appointments mean. Select K on your keyboard to get a symbol key chart. Hit Escape to close the chart. 
To see the zip codes displayed on your map, hit the Z key. For an allocation of jobs chart, select the letter A. Select the letter D to review a density graph showing jobs per hour. The happy face indicates whether or not your technician's route is within the mileage range that you've designated in your settings form. The dispatch map will also tell you the last time your technicians connected if they're using SD Mobile. If your technicians are running late for their designated appointments, you'll see the screen flash as below. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching Introduction to the Visual Features of the Dispatch Map.